ride something that's not a Model T. Okay guys, we're over here at Merlin's Old School Garage. We got Fab Rats crew showed up and they brought us a 1977 400, I think. We're gonna do some research to see if it's a 400, but all the all the initial cues tell us it's a 400 cc. So we're gonna we're gonna try to get it running and uh, we'll get Hunter to ride it. It'll be a good time. And I guess we got a Honda. We got a Honda Aquatrax as well to play with. And it looks like initial looking at here, it looks like they might have put the sponsons on upside down. So we're gonna have to. We'll flip those around and get them right before we get too far along here. That's a dangerous situation. We don't want to be in. We'll get this running too. So stay tuned. What are you doing? What, what kind of projects are you getting yourself into, Jesse, Jimmy? I think this is actually might be 400, not even a 440. Oh, that's kind of cool. 1977 400. I think so. We'll have that, to do that, some research. But, that just uh, means us bigger guys can't ride it. That's okay. I'm, we're power. okay. We're okay with that. Yeah, we're, we're good with that. It'll be funny to see if Hunter can even ride it. I know, right? <laughs> Actually, it'll be awesome to see if we can even get it to run. Oh, it'll run. We'll figure it out. Jimmy will get it running. That's right. As you saw earlier, we were hanging out with Fab Rats in Merlin's old school garage. Hunter brought us a 440 to look at and play with and work on. He's going to be here later on to work on this. In doing that, we're going to want to ride it right away. And I notice there's a hole in the hull, and that's a source for water. So we're going to throw some marine text on it real quick because that takes 12 to 14 hours to dry. And we don't want to be waiting on that when we get this thing running and we want to go ride it. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. As you can see, we got the marine text down. It's covered all the holes. It should keep it thing watertight. And what we'll do is we'll have Hunter go through here and we'll wet sand all this and bring all the, the nasty off of this. This should clean up nice. At least it'll be cool for him to ride. So that'll give him something to do while we're working on this. <laughs> As you can see, we got some nesting going on in here. This thing is really dirty. The Fabrats crew should be here within the hour to start working on this. And I'm not very motivated to work on a ski this dirty, so we're going to try to clean it up a little bit. Jimmy, what are yes, we doing? Yes, sir. Who's here? Fabrats are here. Hunter's here. Hunter? Hey. Hunter's got a 440. Hunter. The first year of the 440. What did you refer to this? A Model T? The Model T. The this Model is the Model T, T of the jet ski world. Okay. This is the first. Actually, it's the second, but it's the first. <laughs> so what year is this thing? What did we decide? 77. 440. It's the first year of the 440. Third year of the jet ski. The first two years were 400 cc's. And then 77, they started the 440 and the 400 for a couple years. I want to, I didn't even know how to work it, dude. I got this thing for $100 with a pool table. That's and awesome. I put a battery in it and I didn't even know how to start it. I called Merlin, like, dude, what, how do you even, where's the electric start <laughs> button? How do I even do this? He ran me through it because there's two of them. Right. And that's off, is that the keel? Because it's red. Yeah. Right. And it wasn't working. And he told me to do something and it started cranking over. Right on. I didn't yeah, touch the, it so, so then. the so. throttle the throttle is always the stop button because you can't work the throttle and hit the start button at oh, the really? same time if it's over here. Wow, they thought of that at least in the seventies. Yeah, but no, I I've never rode one of these. That's I don't awesome. Know what I'm even looking at. So. so here's something interesting, right? This is an original ski. Notice how it doesn't have any mats. Yeah, that's factory. Really? Yeah, that's chafing. Yeah, chafing. Yes. chafing. <laughs> All I see is chafing. Yes. Chafing. So. Uh, what else have you been working on, Jimmy? This is the channel 650. Sweet. This started out as a dumpster find, somebody's backyard. Uh -huh. We got it all together. Really? Wow. So, all stock. We got it up to 39.9 miles an hour the other day. Holy cow. Hunter, have you ever rode a jet ski, a stand up? I, for this, I had, I did. 
once, barely. How? Uh, how? I didn't even get up. I was just. How old were you? Wait, you didn't. You never 13. made it up. You never stood up. No, I okay, was like. Okay, so on technically, then you have. So, so technically, he's never rode. Paul, have you rode one? I have ridden one in a pond. <laughs> of all places. <laughs> yeah, never like runway, just circling basically. So Sean, same here. Right. Up the stand, muddies. stand up jet ski up the muddies. That's one it. Time. Yep. One time. Okay. You got to stand up. Same jet ski. <laughs> yeah. That's a, that's a, hey, that's that's a big plus. That's more than most people. So Jimmy Jimmy's pretty excited about this because he's always wanted to do like beginner videos. So he's pretty excited that you're here to ride some of his skis that he's been working on, and that you're kind of mostly all beginners. Oh, we, forget, we definitely fall into it's the beginner category. <laughs> oh yeah. So this is the final version of your ski, huh? What year is this one? This is a 90. Right, they made them all the way through 95 or 96, I believe, or 97. But notice all these mats, feel how soft and pliable all this is. Oh yeah. Yeah. Difference. That's to prevent chafing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but the same basic layout is the same. It hasn't changed in all those 20 years. Or 15 years, whatever they were. Pretty much the same. So, is this the same motor and stuff that they used on those big uh, ships that you were talking about? Yeah. That's the same. That's the, your, your motor is a bilge pump motor out of That's a container ship. And we get, when we get looking deeper into it, you'll see on the side here it says KHI. That's Kawasaki Heavy Industries. Wow. They're the ones that manufacture the container ships. Deep down in the belly, there's a there's a, one of these little motors that chugs along and there's a bilge pump motor, pumps the water out of the boat. That's so cool. <laughs> so so that's, the, uh, that's the Model T of the industry. This is the Model A of the industry. Where's the Ferrari of the industry? Right here. That's not the Ferrari, that's like the McLaren F1. Oh, well, yeah, the Ferrari, the Ferrari's back under the Toyota. Let me grab it here real quick. So this, this boat here is actually a full carbon fiber. Yeah, that's, that's a 70 mile an hour boat right there. That one right there will hurt you. You this scared? is what you raced, right, Jimmy? Something of this nature. So, this Jimmy, Jimmy, fire. fire that boat up. Just, just get these guys excited. How does that make you feel, wow. Hunter? Holy jeez! <laughs> McLaren F1. That's horsepower. <laughs> Holy cow! What motors in this? That's, that's a 1500 Civic motor. That's a 1500. So basically, it's. It's like a Honda Civic on steroids. Holy shoot. So that's the same motor. No, that's a thousand. Mine's a thousand. This is a 1500. So Holy sure. crap. I'm How do you like that? Some math in here. Did it just click? Yeah, it just Did it clicked. just come that's to a, you, Paul? That's a lot. Yeah, that's, that's crazy, isn't it? Ooh, wow. So this is the this is the modern version of your stand up jet ski that you can buy at the dealership today. Wow. Four stroke. Fuel injected. Simple, simple. Really? Put gas in the hole, hit the start button. You're Go to your run out. That sit down I was riding today, it's the same motor. Really? And that big sit down, it's a stubby shoehorn in this little tiny hole. <laughs> That's cool. And then so because this hole is too heavy. I got a crazy question. Sure. What's the benefits of a stand up yeah. over a set down? What's the. So you ridden a dirt bike? Yep. You ridden an ATV? Yeah. What's the difference? It's maneuverability. Yeah. Okay. And then when you get bored of that hole is when you take that motor and pump out of that setup and you put it over here. Right. Here. Oh, that one. Wow. There's a big difference, huh? Wow. The, hole, the hole is the same way. The hole's about 100 pounds lighter than that one. Jeez. With the same motor shoehorned in it. Hunter, <laughs> tell me a little about yourself. Who are you? Where are you from? How did you end up here? Hunter Cox. Born 2004, April 20th. <laughs> Was that like that or what? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's not a job interview. <laughs> right? <laughs> um, what do you do in life? I'm Paul's shadow. Paul's shadow. You're not Paul's shadow. You're Paul's videographer. 
Yeah, there you go. Glorified camera operator. You could say that. I mean, Do you enjoy your job? Do you Iowa. enjoy your job? Some days are better than others. There you go. They're all good. Some's yeah, just better just than others. Better. Yeah. I like sure. that attitude. There's a lot of water in this thing. Jimmy. Uh -oh. It's been raining. Um, <laughs> Did you get the hood off? Potentially. <laughs> Thank you for that, Paul. <laughs> we went up armed with bees. We thought bees were going to be in here. We're just seeing how bad it is. Well, what are we assessing? Like, there's, there's things there's, going through your brain right now. <laughs> should be Talk sharing. to me. That's right. the people. At, the people out here in TV land want to know what it is you're thinking and doing right now. All right. The ski hasn't ran in 25 years. There's a lot of things going through my head. One is the crank seals are probably hard as a rock. Do we even know if it turns over? He said he had it turned over. Okay. I, I did. So you have bad Did you spray, did did. You spray did. ether in it? I did it. Plot, I fired. Oh. Okay. So no oil or nothing. You just said, fire. we're going to fire it. Yeah. That's I, how we roll. We're on the right. edge. Yep. That's fine. Yep. I mean, we don't like piston rings. And... No. I see there's a return line here that's disconnected. There's some they're, stuff they're going secondary. on. They're secondary. We'll, uh, we'll clean this thing out and see if we can, there's parts laying in here. That's the very first flame arrester. It's made out of brass. It, it is. That's cute as can be. Could probably can't see it. through it though. You think it, yeah, it flows is that there. that a Model T? <laughs> oh, this is the Model T. Yeah, That's right. Model T. That's right. This is the world's first flame arrester for the jet ski. Notice how you can't see through it? Yeah. Somehow that traps, that stops a flame from flowing through there. Oh, really? I think it stops air too, but sometimes these carbs won't work without that restriction in place. So we want to leave that, we'll reuse that. And then we're going to go, we'll take and uh, we'll make sure all this is airtight and we'll rebuild. We'll look at the carburetor. There's a diaphragm in here that moves back and forth. And if it gets hard, it doesn't move back and forth. It won't pump fuel. Okay. So we'll, we'll, we'll look at all this stuff. If the carburetor works, there's no reason this thing shouldn't run. All right. Like oh, I'm that. sorry. And it has compression. There's and no reason. Has, yes. Gotta have yes. a few We'll things. check compression. That's right. Well, we got air. We got all the air yeah. we want. So we'll assess the fuel and the compression okay. and the spark. Okay. See this here? That's not good. No, that's no. not. That's probably a bad sign. That's... So we're going to... But we're going to redo the fuel lines anyway because... Yeah. We don't use the on-off reserve, actually. <laughs> Try to turn, did you turn yeah. your fuel? Uh, no. You saw it was frozen? <laughs> oh. Yeah, no, that's That's, that's ethanol fuels. Ethanol fuels swells just, that stuff. Yeah. It just eats it. So we'll bypass all that. We'll go straight okay. to here. This here is a one-way valve. Blow through that. Suck through it. I don't think I want to. No, don't no. inhale, just. Does it still work? No, no. way! It still works. And there's nothing. I'd have lost. I've never seen one. Think of that, 77, dude. And that still works. Wow. These are always failed by now, so that's a good sign. So we'll just leave that alone. And then this brings air in from the handle pole. Okay. So we'll, we'll, we'll preserve that. And then we'll just work that here. All right. So evidently, when my ski got tore apart and put back together, somebody put some little skag thing. What are they called? Sponsons. Sponsons on backwards they're on the wrong side so they're doing the opposite of what they should be doing so i didn't know this they pointed it out we're gonna go change them let's go have a look nice shirt you like that you get that on fabrats.com that's right smuggler. you want to smuggle quaggas <laughs> you can do her technically today when we ride this ski you're going to be going home you're going to be smuggling quaggas I'm going to do the right thing, and I'm stopping in on my way to Utah and getting her checked. At the port of entry? You know it. So what do we got going here? These, uh... So they're upside down. Oh, I can see that clearly now. So this would be the bottom for that side. Yeah, so that one goes on that side. This one goes on this side. Interesting. Did you ride this yet? Negative, Houston. Oh, I have never ridden this ski. That's how they go? That's how they go. Well, that's pretty easy. I'm going to have to find another bolt. Jimmy's probably got I'll one. I'll bet Jimmy's got a couple. Got 
So what those do when you lay it over hard in a turn is they actually keep it from washing out. Okay. That water, it kind of traps the water because that's laid hard yep. over, right? I like that. Yeah, they were kind of upside down and backwards. Yeah, I can't start those. No, they, you just kind of got to just go for it. It's the easiest fix I've had all day. But not knowing is not knowing. True story. I had no idea. To tell you the truth, I never even really looked at it. Somehow it was the first thing Jimmy noticed when he looked at your ski. <laughs> the things he <laughs> so looks crazy, at. Crazy, right? Yeah. The things he looks at. What do you think, Sean? Did you build this? No, I helped him. I coached. That's awesome. Yeah, Cummins 4B out of a uh, red truck. I was asking what tranny was in it. So it's the factory tranny. Turbo 400. Yep. Is it crooked on purpose? Yep. These 4Bs are uh, on the angle. So the transmission's straight up and down, but the motor lays the at an angle. Sideways. We're going to straighten the motor up because he's going to put a stick shift in it. He's got an MV4500. Oh, yeah. Turn it into so, a real, yeah. real Jeep. Get rid of the slush o -matic. Pretty cool little Jeep. Little it doesn't even smell like fuel. Really? Yeah, it's like mud. How full is it? It was half full. Oh, boy. Did you get her all out of there or not? <laughs> a little bit more over there in that corner. All right. <laughs> That's nice. Hunter, you are, you're a natural at that. I can be the pest control guy. <laughs> they do that and then they spur it around. So I'll flip, the, flip the button. Flip the button. Bring that over here. Bring that over here. Sit down. Yeah, that's do you got to keep pumping or is it? No, no, drive. There you go. That is disgusting. Do you know do you know where that fuel's gonna go? Where? Right in his right Jeep. <laughs> no, in his Jeep. Yep. In his Jeep? Yep. Really? He'll mix that with ATF and burn it, I guarantee yeah. it. <laughs> I would bet my life on it that it will be burning later today. <laughs> fuel separator on it. That's a fuel filter. There's a filter inside oh, of there. Really? Yeah. They're cute. We'll check that. We might we might preserve that because that's kind of cool. Somewhere I thought it would say it would say four four hundred forty cc's on it, but I don't see it anymore. How did you get into jets? I bought my house, my first house, made my first house payment, went to the motocross racetrack the next weekend, took an eighty foot triple. I was flying through the air at eighty mile an hour, and I started daydreaming about making my house payment if I don't make the landing. Landed, came in, got off my bike, shook my head. Everybody hugged me and said how sad they were for me that I was grown up now. And the next couple months later, I saw a guy wipe out on a stand-up doing 55 plus on a pro mod stand-up. And I'm just like, should somebody call an ambulance? And he starts laughing. You hear him out in the water laughing. And I tried to think of the last time I laughed after falling off of a dirt bike. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't remember. And I was like, you know, maybe this is for me. So I went out the next week and found a stand-up for sale. And that was it. The hook was set. Yep, Merlin and I both, we've had our fair share of dirt bike. Yeah, crash and burn. Yeah, I got that one right there. That's, Ooh. A, Ooh. that's a good one. Cra cr crash and burn. That that's... crashes for a few days. Yikes. <laughs> that is Ooh. cute. That's thick in the bottom of there. I can't even... Gonna preserve it. I might wanna soak it with some PB blaster first. Oh, there's something in there. Sludge. I don't think we wanna use this. Pull a PB blaster in it. All right. See if it'll let go. Let's run an experiment, Jimmy. I'm pretty sure Merlin's like that little, uh, yeah. little devil on the shoulder. I am. You're good. I am you that guy. Jimmy, go for it. I am that guy. <laughs> Just give it a try. What's the worst that can happen? It can catch on fire? Burn down, ruin everything. That's right. That's why Jimmy likes me, because I push him. That's right. Exactly right. Some days he comes back and he goes, I can't believe you made me do that. And then some days he goes, man, thank you for doing that. <laughs> I would have never. I know, Jimmy. That's why I dared you. See, it's not so bad. Oh, well, it came apart. It was melted. <laughs> no, it's, it melted. It's, yeah, it stuck to it. It melted. Wah, yeah, wah, it's wah. no good. All right.
You know what that is? That's an example of you had nothing to lose. That's right. Yep, that is. Now it's done. We've lost it. We move on. Yeah, that's right. Don't even feel bad about it now. Nope. So that was very early. 440s didn't have any fuel strainers or anything. So what we're going to do is see here. That's a, this is a Sea-Do filter. Sea-Do came up with that idea, and it was way better. So hold this against here. This is, goes to the bottom of the tank. There you so, go. That's where we're going to cut it. So like that. Okay, that looks good. Got it? Take it back yeah. out. Perfect. I got a cutter. Oh yeah, I shortened it. Oh, I put the hose on it. Yeah. Are these brittle? No, I don't don't know. That's a tomorrow problem. So we're getting rid of reserve, correct? Correct. We're making reserve the line and we're getting rid of on. Yes. Okay. Can we get that explained to Hunter? So, you notice how there's a longer straw and a shorter straw? I, I understand. Yep. Okay. You have an on and a reserve. When you're on, you suck from this straw. When you run out, you have this much fuel left. And no, that's about enough to get you halfway home and then run out again. Yep. So I never understood why they didn't cut these like in half the tank. That we have more. We have half a tank, yeah, right? Okay, we more. turn around. We got to go home. Exactly. We're out of gas, right? He's always thinking. Paul and I okay. are directing and in charge of this video. I just want you to know. <laughs> Your names are going to come up. Unless it's not good. That's right. And then, <laughs> then it's all Sean's fault. <laughs> Sean's got lighting and sound. <laughs> Sean, what's your yes. prediction? Uh -huh. uh -huh. I think it's going to fire right up. Do you Honestly, think it's going to idle and maintain throttle no. and actually sound good? No. You fire think, up. You think we're going to be messing with it for a while? I do. I do. Okay, I'm going to go on record and say it's going to fire up and actually gonna, run good right I'm going to say it's going to run good too. Yep. It's going to idle. And I it's think so. I think it is. It may a little bit run away because it probably does have hard crank seals, but Jimmy will get it under control because he'll probably pour something down the carburetor. <laughs> but I don't think we want to stand back here because I think, I think it's going to blow some out. stuff out. Yeah. And that exhaust probably too. So yeah. So don't so we got to do that. Yeah. Sean was right. Sean wins the bet. Get lucky once in a while. That's awesome. Yeah. So, tell us what you're doing pouring that down there. Oh, the motor hasn't ran in 25 years. There's no oil in it. On a two-stroke, the oil, the engine takes the oil out of the fuel and separates it. So it's been dry for so long, all the oil has ran out of the motor. So you have to you have to put a lot of oil in it to get it system started. Otherwise, if we were just to go ride this, it'd last about a day or a week, and then it would start spitting bearings out. Okay. Isn't it? This is a pretty cool place. This is, I have a real uh, sound question. If you knew there was a beach that had sand in it, why did we launch the yellow submarine and the rocks on the other <laughs> side? Whose idea was this? <laughs> Gosh! Jimmy, this water's cold. It's cold. You want to come jet skiing? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> so this is pretty hard to launch a boat. The uh, angle of this. It doesn't go in right. It, do, it just doesn't work. Yeah. That really kind of doesn't either, but that's better. Yeah. But I've launched my Cummins boat over here, and it's pretty tough. When you go to put it back on the trailer, it Sucking it's hard. rocks. Well, it's just hard to get it on the trailer. Yeah. The angle of the trailer is wrong. I didn't even know you guys had sand down here. I thought it was just oh, the rocks. Maybe. 
Well, Jimmy. Well, Merlin. It's our beach today. It is. Like, this is cool. Oh, this is awesome. After Labor Day. After Labor Day. Well, here we go. Body Beach. <laughs> She's dead. It still looks like it did yesterday. <laughs> On fire. Oh yeah. <laughs> There's smoke. Fill the fire in it, Jimmy. Jimmy's like, okay, hold on, I'll do that. We got some kindling. Kindling and spark. Yeah, we got some kindling. Ah. You gonna tie a rope and tune it or are you just gonna sand it? Oh. Think we need to tune it? I don't know. Tuning's only good for about seven minutes. Well, they float. Ready, I'm ready. Are dude. you ready? Are you ready for this? Why don't you guys? Uh... <laughs> Jimmy, is that what they call cloud seeding? <laughs> That's what happens when a uh, hunter needs a ski fix. True. It's like you make a call to Jesse Jimmy. You, and, uh, you you thought it was going to be free, but <laughs> right here we are. <laughs> the exhaust coming out of the hood. <laughs> it's still just smoking. Oh, that's funny. So, hunter, talk to me. You uh, a little nervous about your first ride on jet ski? You know, I I'm seeing people all over the place doing it, so don't look too hard, but. I don't know. It's my first time. You intimidated at all? A little bit, actually. You, you nervous? A little bit. Are you worried about falling in this water? No, I mean, I'm it's not, warm. Not, it's, I'm not worried not, about that. I'm worried about like the. I couldn't. I don't know. Like. It's just, the it's just, disappointment you got, factor. You, you of got everybody. butterflies. You got butterflies. A little bit. I'm excited okay. to ride it. Really, I didn't. I never thought. It was all right, get down here and get your okay. lesson. Tell me, Jimmy, what are we doing? All right, we're gonna go through the very, very, very basics. Woo. Okay, so you're gonna start out, lay down. Okay. Lay down on your stomach, right? You're, well, you're gonna be, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. No, you're you good. won't be that far up, but. No, that's fine, you'll be dragging yourself. Okay. So the key is, when you hit the start button, you're gonna have to give it full throttle, okay? okay? It's, it's just like a bicycle. On a bicycle, if you don't pedal, you fall over, yeah. right? But if you just pedal the littlest bit, it'll balance all day long. Okay. That's how this is. Okay. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start up, give it full throttle, and then when you back out of it, you're gonna back out of it till about half throttle. And it's gonna drag you through the water. As it's dragging you through the water, the first key is going to be to bring your knees up onto the tray. All right. Once you get your knees up onto the tray, you can go full throttle. And then stand up. So go ahead and jump in on your knees there. So once you're to this point, you could ride like this. Go ahead and bring, well, you're going to bring your knees all the way up to here. All the way up. Otherwise, it'll do this on oh, you. Okay, I see. So get your knees all the way forward. And as you lean over the handle pull, right, now it'll, it'll lay down and actually ride nice. And you can actually ride oh, like that okay. all day long. Cool. If you decide you want to stand up, put one leg up. Okay. So so now you're gonna you're still going full throttle. You're gonna stand up. Okay. Now it's gonna get squirrely and fall over. Oh if yeah. You drop no no. Drop back down to one knee. Get back down to one knee. If you do that, it will come out of the crash. Okay. You will no longer crash. If you drop down. Yes. Drop if to you're not past the down. point yes. of no return. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so don't wait. So don't, don't don't worry about committing to stand up. Okay. Be committed to getting back down on one knee. As soon as the water gets squirrel, as soon as you feel it come out from underneath you, get back down on one knee. Okay. It'll right itself. You'll throttle out of it, and you can try again. You all can right. do that all day long. But Maybe the key not is, on this jet ski, no, no, but the, you could. No, no, the key is the key is the lot. It's all a lot of throttle. Okay. It's only 30 mile an hour, so you can go you can go a lot faster than you yeah. think you can. The faster you go, the easier it is when you're down low. Okay. As you start getting braver to stand up, you can back out of it and slow down. All right. But we'll start with that. Okay. There goes nothing. Play ball! <laughs> <laughs> so as soon as I start it, give it some gas. Give it gas. Is that good? That's pretty good. Okay. But you can't do that off, it'll die. So you gotta really you gotta really stay in the throttle. Alright. And just drag behind it. Okay. And just wor just worry about getting up on your knees first and then pin it. Alright. Hunter, you got any last thoughts? You wanna tell your girlfriend goodbye? What you, what do you got? It's a jet ski. Yeah, we're sending it's it. It's not an airplane. Don't take okay. the trailer. Okay. Yeah. Full throttle. This isn't going to like, no, when I'm well, leaning up in yes, here, it's it not going to like. It'll nail you right in the nuts. Oh, great. No, no, and so if just, your shorts end up down around your ankles, just keep going. So push, <laughs> All right. So push, so push down. Push 
push down and put your knee up on it already. There you go, now. Now, full throttle, okay. full throttle. Yep. He's doing it. He's doing it. He's doing it. He's, he's kind of doing it. Got it. He's kind of. He's kind of. He's kind of doing it. Dude, he's kind of doing it. It's kind of starting to clear up. It's starting to run better. Well, Jimmy. It's a 440. He got it. He's you, up. He's oh, no up. way, he's up. You trained another one. What do you think? That's got to make you proud that it like, does. younger kids are like taking oh, the sport. absolutely. Tell no, me about it. Absolutely. Tell absolutely. me about it. Kids don't like to do things that are difficult. When you get a kid doing, when a kid conquers something difficult, it gives them a sense of pride. And that's, you can't put a price on that. I wonder if he could, he's going to turn and come back. No, or... he's, who, who cares? Let him go. Let him run out of gas. That's awesome. He's standing on a stand-up first try. You first try, right out of the gate. Oh, on a 440 with yeah. no mats. Yeah. That's, so that's, that's pretty uh, good. If he can do that, he'll be able to ride any of these skis now. Well, so yeah, now when we put him on something yes. that's got some stability and yep. some performance, he'll be... Uh, <laughs> that's amazing. I got to say, I'm, impre like, I'm impressed. That's... What seems to be the dilemma here? Um, I'm not very good at riding these, and I fell off. Now it won't start. It's flooded. We'll uh, we'll pull it in, get it on the trailer, get it fired up, and then she'll go again. Then she'll go. Again. All right, I got Hunter on the hook behind me. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll tow him in and see if we can fix it. You're a stand-up rider, you just don't know it. Uh, Hunter, talk to me. How was, was good it? Good time. You a pro rider now? No, not at all. But it's a lot harder than sitting on a couch. It's <laughs> sitting on That's a couch. For sure. Holy cow, dude. Is it more fun? It's a lot more fun. So advice to uh, people who want to ride a sit-down or a stand-up. Find somebody you know, like Orlin and Jimmy, and they'll teach you how to do it. So stand-up's the way to Take go? Take somebody out with you on your first time, so if it breaks down, you can get pulled in. Yeah. <laughs> Two. Good advice. Yep. Sound advice, I think. Yep. Okay, so this is the Model T. You got to, you got to experience the Model T of the jet ski industry, right? Yeah. This is the very beginning of this version. The next ski you're going to ride is the very one of the very last versions of this ski. And they made over 140,000 units. That's Holy why we, cow. Yeah, that's why we call it the Model T. Because it was the beginning. There was nothing else. Yeah. You wanted to go in the water, you went and bought a jet. You went and bought a 440 or a 400. So this is a 550. Okay. And it's got all the modernizations. It's still a piston port. There's still no reeds. But it has a lighter weight drive shaft. Everything's been, they've been efficient for many years. The changes through the, the generations. And it's been through Jet Ski Jimmy's full mod. Wow. Oh yeah, but it's still stock. It's modernized, not modified. Yeah. So it's okay. still all stock, but it is, everything's all done. But the okay. intake tracked and yeah, the all, the little, yeah. all, all the little, all the little things tricks. that are wrong from the factory. Yes. Okay. All right. You know what you're doing? Yeah. Okay. Just Send it. Same Dude, thing. This, this. Oh yeah. This. This can be. This can be put away. Oh yeah. yeah the pads are much better. I leaned over to help. Same thing. Punch it. What a pro.
Oh my gosh, these things. Holy cow. But you see what I mean? They're dropping to your knee. I try, yeah, no, 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 and I fell off, but it takes time. Yeah, but well, you, I see what you're saying. The thing is, that if, that's, if that's what you practice, you practice that the most, yeah. you'll become proficient. All right, you got all the lessons? Well, so just pin it. Pin it. Pin it. What do you think, Sean? That was. Uh, your I'd first... like to do it another time or two. Well, so okay. we got more skis, more skis to test. Skis we're not. Cause... We're not done. Hunter, um, this one, the thing's broke, so you just have to kind of wedge this part in it. All right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't point out. So I got, I got yeah. some learning to do. So what were you saying, Jimmy? Why why he was having trouble getting? What he was porpoising, so, right? So yeah. So yeah. So, yeah. 90% of the population is, is dominant footed and they'll put their dominant foot back behind them and their foot in front of them they never put weight on it so unless unless you switch feet and put your dominant foot forward and force your weight forward on the ski or bring your hind foot forward six inches it's gonna it basically it pendulums the ski because you outweigh the engine and it, and it lifts it Got and you. as you lift it, it wheelies, and as it wheelies, it lunges out of the water, and as it lunges out of the water, the front drops. <laughs> we call that basketballing. I was struggling. <laughs> no, no, but, but that's very, very, very normal. But okay. dude, no, you stood up, dude, you stood up, <laughs> like right away and rocked it. It's like, yeah, that's two. It was pretty up. impressive, really. Yeah, it was. was yeah. Fun. You've got, you've got to show up. You know, <laughs> you're the, you're the big celebrity oh, here. Great. You got to show up. There's no Thanks. pressure, Paul. Uh, well, <laughs> I have a total of maybe one minute. Well, I was kind of skis. what Sean was saying, yeah. and Hunter was less than that, I think. Either that, or, either that or Sean was sandbagging. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. It's he Sean, was bagging. Sean was sandbagging. Yeah, I got one minute on one of these. <laughs> All right. What do you say, Paul? Uh, which one of those is the start button? So, <laughs> <laughs> this one here, uh -huh. full throttle. Just, just okay. keep it pad in here so night, you dare drop to a knee night and day i mean i'd start to drop down I'm like man that's gonna hurt i'll yeah. just fall in the water <laughs> yeah the water hurts less <laughs> yep that was the 70s mentality i think yeah <laughs> okay let's put you right on the uh the, the model, model the model, model a. a the so model that a. was the model t okay <laughs> so and that was did, a that was a hand hit. cranker <laughs> yeah yeah no match okay this one they at least put a battery in it still hand cranks but <laughs> okay <laughs> plus this is a lot bigger and got jimmy's mods Okay. So it's got an intake track mod and a propeller and a fresh motor. So I mean I believe the buttons, greens go, red stop. Yep. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Good luck. You got Hunter ready to rock. Yeah. 
I like the pads already. I mean, <laughs> I'm digging that already. Right. You ready? <laughs> It's pretty graceful. It's good. A little different, huh? Easier than that one. Yes. So. So. Still on a, good at it, but easier than that one. So this is this is the '57 Chevy era of these. Okay. By the mid '80s, they they cut their teeth on the '550s. They They'd learned a lot of lessons. So we've got a lot of go, not much handling. Yes. Like '57 Chevy era. You got it. Yep. Exactly. Got it. Yep. <laughs> no brakes. Yep. All go. Yes, that's right. Okay. Hey, that one will try to pull your shorts right yes, off when you will. hang behind yes, those things. Yep. Like you want them done up pretty tight. <laughs> All right. And the pads so, are an upgrade here. So, oh, yeah. Got they they jet turn trim. flat. Okay. Don't try to lay it over to turn it. Oh, okay. So Stay when, in the middle of it. Well, when you turn flat, it wants to throw you off the high side, right? No, yeah. If you drop down, you bend your knees and drop Keep down. it straight up and down. Yeah. Okay. So, so, so squat down. Just squat, okay. just squat down right now. Just do like. that. Yeah. Well, you're, you're Do you face. ride them goofy, standard, straight side to side? Yes, all of them. Side to side. All, when, when all of the above. When, when it porpoises, just move your foot forward. Get forward four on the ski. Okay. Lift that handlebar straight up and down and get Stand forward on the ski. Yeah. Okay. Push the nose in the water. Use that handlebar and push the Shove nose down. down. Okay. You got it. You got cool. the fundamentals. Go all right. Too much power in the old 57 yeah, Chevy, that, Jimmy. That's right, yeah. I'm planning this out right Let's here. Let's see it. I'm going. that one no more. I can't ride it. <laughs> this one's kicking my trash. I hope you know this is awesome. I am I'm terrible at this. I love this. So I watched a girl, like a 120 pound girl yesterday, rip one of these. I'm like, I can do that. I suck at this. <laughs> <laughs> do you want me to take it? Nope. But I'm getting tired. <laughs> right by the 57 I mean it's all go no nothing it's just it goes <laughs> like you move a little bit it just goes out from under you and you <laughs> that uh that 120 pound girl yesterday right I, see, right I seen her of ripping that thing I'm like how hard, hard can it be I can do this holy jeez that'll make you tired yeah I'm sitting down out. right here <laughs> <laughs> Just figure out how to turn it. Hey, yeah. I'm gonna tell you what I learned. A little turn <laughs> is a lot. Just I'm go with that. When I'm on the other beach, I'll turn around okay, and come yeah, back. I think he's lying. I've got arm pump. <laughs> <laughs> 
You do? <laughs> you I do. Like that. Uh, no I doubt. Okay, Sean, what'd you think of the 57 Chevy version? I've never drove a 57, but I want to. <laughs> that was pretty fun. <laughs> All right, so uh, what's next, Jimmy? Hunter. Hunter's up on the six fit on the 57 Chevy. You ready, Hunter? So, Sean, what did... You didn't you're, listen. You're lighter. You you're didn't lighter. listen to anything. I was anything over Paul there. Or Jimmy, or Paul or I was over there. Sean you're lighter. So you're not gonna have any of the issues we have. Okay. I'll, and I'll then hurt you a lot be, more when you fall. No, it doesn't. You just got to be quicker. Drop to your knee, and you okay. got more room to drop to your knee. So All right. don't be afraid to practice dropping to your knee first. Hey, pin it. Hunter, quit showing off. Oh, that was fun. That's a blast. So what do you think of the 57 Chevy? That one's a good one. I like that one a lot better than mine. <laughs> so the Model T, the Model T. That one was rough. But it got you there. It got me there. The Model A. It was easier, but still not the greatest, but that could have been me. The 57 but. Chevy. That one was fun. I like that one. That one ripped. Does everything you tell it to do? Yeah. I, we, we saw you make that turn over there, and you turned nice and flat, and then you were gone. Was that what, how what, you're supposed to what, turn? What, I was trying yeah. to figure out how to turn. So what went through your mind when you made that turn? That's how you're like, supposed to turn them. I was like, please don't fall. Please don't fall. <laughs> please don't fall. <laughs> Just gradually lean, and then... Oh, that's great. And then I was running with Paul. How fast did I get going? 35. Oh, felt like 70. <laughs> it does. It does. It does. It, it's, it boogies. Felt like 70. Here's your requested, your much requested lane. Thank lander. you. <laughs> so this here, this is what you go to the dealership and buy today. Okay. This is a four-stroke, 1500 Honda oh. Civic motor, basically. 155, 160 horse, somewhere in there. 58 mile an hour off the showroom floor. You don't have to go 58. I, I won't, no. But, so do, if you're gonna go that speed, do it on your knees. Okay. Yeah, if no, you get, well, I'm just saying, just, right. just, if, yeah, you wanna just feel the, if you wanna feel the thrill, just stay down low. Okay. And then when you get up and start moving around, it's very sensitive. If you grab a handful of throttle, it's gonna give it to you. Okay. And the steering's the same way on the 650. Right. It's, it'll, it's very responsive. All right. What do you call this, Jimmy? This is the Ferrari. Give me that. This is the Ferrari of the group. I don't want to whistle and diesel it, so. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to burn it up in Ferrari the Ferrari durability hey, test. And test when one. you fall, it's not like these other skis. When you fall, let go of it. Because it's okay. so heavy, it will drag your it'll drag your arm out of socket if you're Yeah, that yeah. one, I fell off that one and it yanked it right out of my hands. Yeah. I was like, why are you let go? <laughs> if you if you know you're at the point of no return. Just yeah, eject. Just let go. Okay. Yeah. And it will turn off by no, itself. Yeah, it will. It will turn yes. off by Good. itself and you have to go get it. And your okay, lanyard goes in from the top here. Okay. And the start switch is on the bottom. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, get comfortable with it and then uh, wick it up once or twice and come back in and give me your uh, give me your input. Right. Where the heck's the start? It's underneath there. You've got to reach under it. And there's so no show me the kill. Oh, there's there is no kill switch. It's, it's just the kill switch okay. on top. Up top. Okay. You, you, don't need to give it you can reach else. over with your finger. Yeah, there you go. I just wanted to see which one's which. Yeah, you don't need to give it any no throttle no once, you, once it starts. All right. There you go, buddy. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> well, it'll yank your pants right off of you. <laughs> You're going to have to edit some of that, Jimmy. We've got some definite butt tracking in that video. <laughs> Right hey, oh, yeah. so are you are you a Model T guy or a Ferrari guy? I'm a Ferrari guy for sure. <laughs> Ferrari, for sure. Ferrari guy for sure. They have came a long ways. <laughs> like, holy cow. Coming from a big car, cargo ship to that. Coming, right? coming from a cargo ship uh, pump, pump bilge mode? Yeah. Pump, yeah. Bilge pump. Oh, that's insane.
Where do you stand up on this one? What do you mean? Like, how was speed? Oh, it doesn't go you slow can, no, or no, fast? You, you can jump on it right now. It's okay. so heavy. It's, it's a lot more it's stable. It's so heavy. Oh, okay. It's, it's, a, it's, cool. it's a Ferrari. It's for anyone can drive it, right? You betcha. <laughs> anyone can burn it up in a field. <laughs> oh, that's what he said. That's smart. That's right? a, no, that's pretty popular right now. That's a good reference to throw right. in here. So, all right. I'm doing it. Oh, yeah, that's way better. So just when you think you can ride, you see him ride backwards. Yeah, I felt pretty dumb, but <laughs> uh, this thing's sweet. You, you dig it? Oh yeah. You dig the Ferrari? Yeah, anyone can jump on and ride this. Yeah, we'll and... go go chase him down. He's out there riding backwards. Okay, I'll go chase him down. About 40s where it gets easy to ride. Yeah. It's scarier, but that's where you can ride. dumb when you went by me <laughs> right back. <laughs> My favorite trick. If these a group, just pitch them. Yeah. So, he's trying to hide, you gotta, you gotta lay in the way. You gotta lay, you gotta lean against him. Yeah, yeah, watch this guy come around the showing us how to do it. Show me how it's done. Oh, dude, holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> that was impressive. Now that you've been faster, you have time to think and assess stuff now, right? Jimmy does some cool stuff on here. So he's taught you a thing or two oh, today? Yeah. You've learned some stuff? You've got yep. some stuff you're going to take with you? Oh, that for Things sure. you'll never forget? But he was talking to us at the shop. He's got some cool stuff that he's going to be doing. So. Subscribe. That's <laughs> it's, this is awesome. Thanks for helping me get it started, dude. That run, runs really well. I bet that thing ain't got many hours. Already. Oh no, it's a low hour. I was. I agree. I agree. So, all right, there you have it. We uh, we rode the Model T to the modern day. If I was you, I would get one. They're definitely. You're gonna have to learn but it's a freaking kick in the butt. It's fun. So whatever you can afford that, that one, put some padding on it and that would be a, that's fun. That's a riot. So it doesn't matter what you got. Just get out and enjoy it. It's fun. Subscribe to Jet Ski Gym. Thanks for watching.